Hi, this video is going to cover collecting and simplifying like terms. So learning goals for this video are to be able to group terms into like terms and then effectively simplify expressions with like terms. So like terms are um, terms that have the same variable and, and exponent. Um, so let's take a look at this really big expression here. Uh, you'll notice that the 3x squared here and the t negative 2x squared, these are what we call like terms because uh, both of them have an x and both of them have an exponent of 2 on the x. Now, negative 2x and 3x, these two terms here, these are also like terms because they both have x and they both, um, and both the x's have an exponent of 1. And then finally, um, the 5 and the negative 1, these are also like terms. Uh, well, they don't, both of them don't have a, uh, a variable. Uh, they, those are also called constant terms okay? because they uh, don't have any type of variable. So this is what we call a constant term. Um, now, uh, it's important to figure out which ones are not like terms. So for example, negative 2x, this one in orange or pink, I don't know what color that is, and negative 2x squared, this one in blue, oops, those are not like terms because uh, even though they both have x, um, one of them has an exponent of 2 and the other one here has an exponent of 1. So what we can do with like terms is we're able to group them and then combine them. Um, and the thing is that we also cannot combine unlike terms. So we need to figure out which terms are like and which terms are not um, like terms. Um, so here, um, this expression 3x minus 1 minus 2x plus 4, um, what I want to do is I want to be able to write the um, like terms together. So I notice that this 3x over here um, is an x term. Now similarly, this term here, negative 2x, is also um, an x term. So I'm going to write them next to each other. So I'm grouping them together. Um, then I'm going to write the constant terms that are here. I see there's a minus 1 and here I have plus 4. So what I can do is I can combine these like terms. So 3x minus 2x, it's sort of like saying 3 apples minus 2 apples, that gets me 1 apple. So 3x minus 2x is just 1x. And then here, negative 1 plus 4 would get me plus 3. Now, when we have a 1x, we usually don't write the 1, it's implied. So the best way to write this would be x plus 3. So that's how we combine uh, like terms. And here I can't add these two, the x and the 3, because they're not like terms. I can't combine them. Okay, so this is how we, uh, this is as simple as this expression gets. Let's try another example to illustrate like and unlike terms and combining them. So here I notice that there are some terms that have x squared, some terms that are just x, and some terms that are constant terms. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the x squared terms together first. So I'm going to write x squared here, and then I scan from left to right, and I notice that I see minus 2x squared. So I'm going to write those two next to each other. So I'm um, collecting them, or I'm grouping them. Now I'm going to write just the x terms. Um, here's a plus x, and here's a minus 3x. And then I'm going to write the constant terms that are here, this minus 3, and then this plus 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine um, the like terms. This is an x squared, so really there's, a, there's an invisible 1 here which I'll make visible so that it makes uh, the math a little bit more clear. So this is 1x squared minus 2x squared. So all I need to do is just um, subtract 1 and 2. So 1 minus 2 gets me negative 1. So I'm going to write negative x squared. Remember, I don't write a 1 in the front. It's just implied. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here, uh, there's an invisible 1 here in front of this 1, uh, in front of this x. So this is 1 minus 3x, okay, or 1x minus 3x. So if I just deal with the number parts, this will be minus 2x. And then minus 3 plus 5 would get me plus 2. Now this is as far as it goes because these three terms are not like, so I can't combine them uh, together. All right. Let's try a few more examples just to make sure that you get the idea of combining like terms. 
Here I'm gonna have a 7a squared. Um, I see another a squared term here. So I'm gonna write 7a squared plus 2a squared. And then I'm gonna write terms that are just a's. So I'm gonna write minus 4a plus 3a. And then I'm gonna write the constant terms plus 3 minus 1. So now I will add these two like terms. They both have a squared. So 7a squared plus 2a squared gives me 9a squared. Okay? Notice that I didn't add the exponents. You don't add exponents when you're adding like terms. Remember, you only add exponents when you're multiplying um, uh, terms. All right, now we're going to have negative 4a plus 3a. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So I'm going to write negative a. And then 3 minus 1 is positive 2. So again, that's as simple as it goes. Let's try another one here. Here we have an example where we have two different variables. So I'm going to write all the x's together first, and then I'll write all the y's. So I'm going to write 4x minus 6x plus 2x. Those are all the x's I see. And then I'm going to write plus 3y plus 5y minus 7y. Okay, so all I need to do with these like terms is just um, deal with their number parts. So 4 minus 6 plus 2, that makes 0. So there's 0 x's. So really, here, I'm just going to write here, this is 0 x's. So that means they're gone. Okay, there's no x terms. So I'm not even going to bother writing it here in the next line. Now 3y plus 5y, that's 8y. Take away 7y, well that's just 1y. I'm not, again, I don't write the 1. That's implied. So the final, um, or the simplest form there is y. Here we have x squared y terms, and we have xy squared terms. Now those are different. So I see that there are two x squared y terms. So I'm going to write those together. So I see 3x squared y minus 7x squared y. And then I'm going to write the xy squared. Um, terms. So I see negative 5xy squared, and then I see plus 4xy squared. Combining these like terms, so 3 of these minus 7 of these, so that's negative 4x squared y. And then negative 5 of these plus 4 of these is just negative 1, so I'm going to write negative xy squared. All right, last one here. We have, I think, three different sets of uh, terms here. We have A's, we have B's, and then we have ones that have AB or BA. Now AB and BA here, they actually mean the same thing because remember um, uh, when you're multiplying there's a commutative property. So um, AB, so A times B is really the same thing as B times A. Kind of like how 3 times 2 is the same thing as 2 times 3. So they actually mean the same thing. So these are like terms. So let's just write the um, a's first, just for fun. So I'm going to write the 5a um, minus 3a. I'm going to write the b's minus 4b plus 6b. And then I'll write plus, so this positive, 2ab. And then I'll write plus, I'm going to squeeze it in, 7. And I'll switch that around to 7ab so that they look the same. All right, 5a minus 3a is 2a. Negative 4b plus 6b, so that'll be positive 2b. And then 2ab plus 7ab is 9ab. All right, so take a look at what all of these um, uh, ex examples have in common. Now we group the like terms, and then we combine them just by adding or subtracting the number parts. Okay, so what I'd like you to do, oh actually, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to find uh, the perimeter of this triangle. So we're going to apply some algebra to a measurement problem. So remember the perimeter of a, of a triangle um, is just adding up all three sides, right? So we're going to add, oops, we're going to add all sides together. So what does that look like? So. The perimeter, we'll write P, is equal to, well, this side is 6x plus 4y, 6x plus 4y. This side on the bottom here 
is 10x minus y. So I'm going to add that. I'll just put a, a plus in a different color. I'm going to add 10x minus y. And then I'm going to add the third side. The third side is also 6x plus 4y. And I can tell because those little dash marks here mean that these two sides are equal. I'm going to write 6x plus 4y as well. Here now, I'm going to write all the um, x terms together, and then I'll write all the y terms together. So I'm going to write 6x plus 10x, and then plus 6x. Then I'm going to write the y terms. I'll just put them in a different color. So I'm going to write plus 4y. Here I have minus y. Here I have plus 4y. All right. Now the last thing is, now I just add the number parts um, for each a set of like terms. Here's 6 plus 10 plus 6, that's 22x. 4 minus, remember there's an invisible 1 here, so I'll just make that visible for now. 4 minus 1 is 3, plus 4 is 7, and that's positive 7y. So that is a simplified expression for the perimeter of this triangle. All right. This is where you come in. Uh, there are two questions here pertaining to simplifying an algebraic expression. And then also um, there's this question here asking uh, for you to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try these two questions, or these three. Uh, you're going to pause the video. You're going to try them out. And then when you're ready to see um, uh, the solution to make sure that you're OK, just press play. All right, good luck. All right, so I'm hoping that you've tried these questions out. Um, so the first uh, thing that we need to do here is to group the like terms. So we're going to write all the x squared terms together. So I'm going to write 6x squared and then minus 9x squared. Then I'll write the x terms. So plus 7x plus 4x and then minus 12 minus 3. So 6x squared minus 9x squared, so that's minus or negative 3x squared. And then the 7x plus 4x is plus 11x. Negative 12 minus 3 minus 15. And now again, we can't combine them anymore because these are not like terms. And also make sure that you didn't add the exponents. Okay? When we're adding like terms, we do not add exponents. All right. In this example here, we have a squared b's and a b squareds. So let's write the a squared b terms together first. Oops. So that's 2a squared b minus 3a squared b. And then we'll write plus 5ab squared plus 7ab squared. And we will simplify. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so I'm just going to write negative. Don't need to write the 1. a squared b. And then 5 plus 7 is positive 12, so plus 12 ab squared. All right, to find the perimeter of this rectangle, we just need to add all four sides. So we will write that out. 3a minus b, and I'll put a different color for the adding plus 4a plus 2b plus, now this side is also 3a minus b plus uh, 4a plus 2b, again, that side on the top. All right, let's add all the a terms together, or put them together first, so 3a plus 4a plus 3a plus 4a. And then let's write the b term. So negative b plus 2b minus b plus 2b. Now let's simplify what these are. So 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 4 is 14. That's 14a. And then we have negative 1. I'll put a 1 here just so that we can see it. So negative 1 plus 2, that's positive 1. Take away 1 is 0, plus 2 is 2. So I'm going to write plus 2b. And that is a simplified expression for the perimeter of this rectangle. So I hope this video has made simplifying expressions with like terms clear. Thanks for watching.